Hello everyone, this is Mutant Nuts. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be continuing the OAS Top 10 2021 video series. Today we'll be looking at the sixth risk that is vulnerable and outdated components. I've covered the previous five risks in the previous videos. Y'all can go and check that out. So first we'll look at the 2017 versus 2021 OAS Top 10 version. And in 2017, using components with known vulnerabilities was in position 9 and it's now in position 6 in 2021 under the name vulnerable and outdated components so i think it's the more or less the same thing but the name has changed over here so now first let's look at the different components which are used like in a web application or something so obviously first thing is uh, there is an operating system which is used on the server the server will be having an operating system right like windows unix different flavors of linux so and so on so basically that will be present then second thing what is present is a web server which is running on the application server which is hosting that particular application so basically it can be like an apache web server tomcat or oh, and uh, is and engines and so on then there are like databases present over there so that is nothing but like mysql database mssql and also postgresql and so on so different components are used over here then there are certain things like dependent packages and libraries used so basically there are certain softwares maybe or libraries which are used with the application so that you know because they provide some certain functionality which the application itself cannot provide so that's why they use these things to you know make the task simpler and so on and then there is custom appliances devices so basically they have their own custom operating systems or applications which are present over there so if they are not supported anymore or something so they may be vulnerable to certain things so now let's look at vulnerable and outdated components like how this issue arises and so on so first thing is obviously using an outdated or vulnerable operating system web application server or any dependencies so firstly uh, obviously if the operating system itself is vulnerable and the you know team is still using this particular thing or the server owner is using that then obviously that is one of the factors for this particular risk then second thing is uh, there is no proper vulnerability assessment program followed so basically why this is important is because an organization or something like you know a project or something may have a huge set of servers and devices applications over there so in order to keep track of all those things there has to be a proper managed vulnerability assessment program so if this thing is not followed the thing what would happen is uh, you know the users will not get to know which are which are all operating systems or you know web servers or databases are vulnerable outdated and so on or, or if there is a new version available for those so this is one thing which has to be followed like, you know periodically but if it is not present then obviously uh, the team will obviously not identify the outdated components over here then if vulnerability assessment is followed there has to be a proper patch management process as well so if patch management is not followed like you know the organization or the team is just performing vulnerability assessment they are providing the reports and everything saying that this particular server is outdated or patch it with a new version or something but there is no proper patch management present over there nobody is following uh, that report and nobody is trying to patch that particular thing so this is another thing over here that's why if you do a vulnerability assessment there has to be a uh, patching done as well so that's why the importance will be given to vulnerability assessment otherwise it's of no use if you're just highlighting certain things and patch management is not followed then second thing is if uh, both are followed vulnerability assessment and patch management and this vulnerability assessment is done like maybe in a monthly basis or something or maybe once in two months or once in a year depends i'm just saying so if it's done once in one month then what happens is suppose it's done every uh, first of every month okay so basically uh if there are some new critical vulnerabilities which are released like maybe 10 days after the first uh, vulnerability assessment which is done and like on 10th or something so obviously there is like a 20 days gap 
uh, because next month first uh, another vulnerability assessment will be executed so uh, in that time if there are certain applications okay and or web servers which are vulnerable to an uh, recently disclosed vulnerability so attackers or somebody may have that particular time to you know compromise the devices and so on so if the team itself is not up to date on the latest vulnerabilities they will not care and do a uh, you know vulnerability scan at that time after identifying okay uh, this particular latest uh, vulnerability is out let's just check if we are vulnerable on those uh, on on that thing basically so that's one thing then comes like uh, using older components due to legacy application compatibility so at times there are some applications which are built like 15 years back or something it depends obviously so that applications only can run on a specific os like they cannot run on the latest windows server os or maybe unix os or something so they have some dependency with the previous os only so which are already vulnerable or so outdated and so on so that application has to perform so that's why they are using that older components because if they use the new one the application will not perform and so on so that's one another factor which is present now another thing comes is like designing an application with an eol or eos software library so basically there are certain things which you know when the application is built there are certain activities or some actions which have to be performed by some libraries or softwares because it's easier to do like you know to implement them in the particular application so if they are like end of life and end of service as well that means they are not going to get any patches they are not going to get any support from the vendor or the creator of those libraries and so on so basically if there is any vulnerability present over there it's not going to be patched so if we are implementing this particular thing into the design phase itself of the application and then implementation of it then that's another thing you're bringing in the vulnerable or outdated components inside the application at the start itself so these are the few things uh, obviously there are certain like you know more things over here which can be added but this is just like a you know most common things and high level overview of uh, vulnerable and outdated components how do they occur and so on so we'll just look at uh, you know examples over here obviously these examples are only for education purpose and also we do have over here a web application server that is running windows server 2012 as an underlying operating system and obviously it is you know for some reason it's uh, not having any kb updates installed so kb updates are from microsoft they uh, you know release the updates uh, whenever there are some new thing it's security updates basically or they can be some functionality updates as well but there are no updates installed at all on the server so whatever stock image was received for the server it's that only there is no uh, there is no update post that but the web application server which is running the web server is totally updated over there suppose and then later on after that uh, there is another thing that is port 445 is open and it's running smb version 1 over here so there are a few things over here which we'll look at but this is what the web server uh, configuration is and we do have a user allies over here now this user allies what she does is uh, she tries to perform a port and service enumeration on this particular server and then later on uh, for like uh, the server responds with uh, you know certain information obviously not in the exact specific way but there are certain things which uh, allies can gather from here that is the server is running windows server 2012 because of banner grabbing or something it was identified and then later on also the port that 445 is open away that is a tcp port 445 and it is running smb version 1 so basically now allies has certain information over here the server itself it's a bit old like 2012 and the port 445 is open and that's running smb v1 445 port is for smb so it's running smb version 1 over there so allies takes all this information she's a malicious actor over here wants to do malicious things so she 
tries to gather this information and does a Google check and so on. And she finds out that this server can potentially be vulnerable to Eternal Blue. So this uh, allies, what she does is she takes that particular, obviously she does not know whether the KB updates are installed or not, but as per the configuration received, it's more likely to be vulnerable to that. So allies gets the exploit from the web. She tries to modify it accordingly as per her needs. And then later on, she tries to run that exploit on the port 445, which is open over here. She has nothing to do with the web application, which is running on 443 maybe, but she tries to do it on this particular port 445. And then later on, what happens is there is a successful remote command execution on the server and a reverse shell is obtained. So the reason is because the server, uh, Windows Server 2012, which is running over here, that is uh, actually vulnerable to Eternal Blue exploit. So because there are no KB updates installed and also there is SMB version one, which is enabled on this particular server. So all this combines to, you know, uh, vulnerability present. And so basically that's how allies was able to compromise this particular server and get full control of access to it. That's the reason we need to apply the security updates and so on to keep the servers up to date, even if that's a 2012 version. So we need to apply the Microsoft security patches and so on for that. So coming to our next example over here, we do have a web application server, which is present. The operating system over here is up to date. This time they are like, okay, we don't want to take risks. We have it up to date. And the port uh, 443 TCP is running Apache Tomcat. Okay, so Tomcat version also, I think it's latest, uh, I guess. And they, they are like not worried. They are like, okay, we are good. We have a web application running, that's fine. But one thing is that there is a log4j library which is used over here. And that is the version is 2.13.2, .2, for example. So now this uh, log4j is like a dependency or library of uh, which uh, the application itself is using. So if you guys don't know what log4j is, there was a lot of things running around the world uh, like two months back. So you can go and check that out. But just to give a high level overview, it's a logging framework. So the application will try to log out certain things and you know because to generate logs or something if error logs or so on so that will be logged uh, via this uh, log4j library so what bob does is bob tries to send a web request first on the web application server over here and the web application server obviously does not say that i'm running a vulnerable log4j library but it will obviously send some apache tomcat banner in the response of the you know http response so basically Bob understands that, okay, this server is running Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat uses Java, JVM. So log4j also is used over there. So uh, Bob is like, okay, trying to connect the dots or something. And recently this log4j was uh, discovered, right? So Bob is certain that maybe the server can be vulnerable to log4j vulnerability. So obviously, uh, as I said earlier as well, uh, he does not know the version of log4j which is used or if it is used also like you know the users may not use it on the server but he just uh, tries to uh, take a guess or something of that sort then bob uh, goes on google he tries to find certain more information about it and then later on he on the web he gets a exploit for oh, the payload for log4j so he understands it how it works and everything he tries to have that payload exploit and he sends it via the web application over here which is running on 443 so he does that and obviously this server another thing it's obviously like you know part of an organization or something and there is ldap being used and so on over there so this uh, payload which was there it was successfully you know exploited like or successfully executed and then later on, Bob was able to receive a successful remote command execution. And he also he received a reverse shell. So obviously he got that particular server compromised again. And then obviously you can, uh, yeah. 
do multiple things over there, execute commands and so on. So that's how another thing is that this web application server, it was using a latest Tomcat version. It was using the latest operating system as well uh, with the latest patches and everything. But the dependency of a library over here, just to make things easier, this application was using a logging library, but that was vulnerable over here to a remote command execution. So that was not updated or patched. That's the reason this entire thing happened. So that's the reason like, you know, vulnerable and outdated components are a big risk and they have to be patched regularly after the vulnerability assessment is performed and also the proper patch management is done on the servers. So this was just uh, like high level overview of vulnerable and outdated components. If you guys like the video, please do give a thumbs up. If you guys have any queries, please do ask me in the comment section below and please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day. Take care.